Hey guys, what's going on? It's Amy again with Bargain Mama and today is Monday night and I think I'm going to do two videos, um, probably two Dollar Tree videos and then maybe sometime this week I will get up a Hobby Lobby haul and then I will take you guys along with me on my Mexican vacation. So I want to start off with, um, I was trying, I thought I somewhat had it organized but I don't. So we will go through this stuff until I get to the stuff I'm like really excited about. I hope it'll be in this haul, but um, they have the paint pouring stuff there now, which I think is so awesome. So I'm really excited about that. But anyways, there was so much new stuff that I found. So this has some stuff that's old and some stuff that's brand new that I haven't seen yet and I was so excited. So the first thing I found was this. They've had this before. But again, my son lives in California, and so like Easter and Valentine's or even just Christmas or just sending him these, I like to, he likes Star Wars, and then he has to use reusable bags anyway, so he puts them in his trunk. So I just pick him up what, some when I find um, some cool ones. So it doesn't say how big this one, but this is not one of the smaller ones, and it's by Legacy Licensing Partners. So I got him the Star Wars one, and then, <clears throat> excuse me. Is this by Legacy also? Yes. And then I picked him up the Avengers. He absolutely loves um, um, Flash. I was like, what is his name? So it's just the two-sided, and he didn't just do his shopping or whatever in that. We used to have this really big bag that um, my husband would take our eBay and Poshmark stuff to the store in, and it broke. So I had another bag, and I think it was too girly, so he wouldn't take it. So I just picked up another bag. Um, it's, this is a really big bag. And it just doesn't say how big it is either, but it's a pretty big bag. And so he can put our um, Poshmark stuff and all that in it when he takes it to the post office. I just want to bring you guys, if you don't move too much, we're good. So I just got him that. While we're on kind of like the middle child thing, um, I just found some, like, um, like I had told you before, obviously he loves Star Wars, but I got it again. If you watched my last haul, I found some books with some awesome pictures. I mean, awesome stickers, and that's really why I got them. And so I feel like you cannot find these stickers and this many and this big of them for $125. So, and he actually likes to do like the little things in here. He works at The Voice in the evenings, like the graveyard shift watching the, um, the contestant so he always is looking for something to do but again I just got it because I love the stickers I'm gonna take the stickers out and do a photo album for him so I got that and then I found this which I think he's gonna love it's a mold and make Grogu and it's by crazy art soft dough two dough colors and one 3d character mold and I looked around because I was like is this supposed to be in like the plus section but it wasn't and so I think that he's gonna like it he's still um he's the adult but he's still kind of kid like he lo just loves anything Star Wars and stuff so I did get him that let's see what else is in my little bag here so because I'm going on vacation and I refuse to spend like the $50 or whatever they are for pedicures and manicures you guys, I used these not too long ago, and this, I've never had my feet feel like this in a million years. Like, this was, oh, it was amazing. So, it is just the plastic bags that you put on your feet, and um, I don't, I think you put it on for 20 minutes. Oh, 60 to 90, I don't remember, but my feet felt amazing. So, I leave off, today is Monday, I leave on my vacation on Sunday, so on Saturday, I am just going to be primping and doing all that. On another note, let me tell you, so last... I think a week and a half ago or something, I went and had my hair done. I specifically showed the lady, this is, it was my hair prior to COVID uh, when I had, actually, I, when I started this channel, had the blonde highlights. I just loved it. So I said, I would like my hair back to this. She said, okay. Um, and it was a professional, like a really nice salon here in Tucson. It's horrible. So I called, I usually don't, but I called because I mean, when you pay that much for, to get your hair done, like it should be how you like it. And I even told her before I left, I said, ma'am, this is not what I wanted. She said, oh no, it looks good. Okay, but it's still not what I wanted. And so this coming Thursday, I have to go back, which is awesome that they are willing to like redo it for free. I mean, not really for free because I already paid um, the money to have it done. But the thing is like, it takes three and a half to four hours to do my hair and so that's a huge chunk of time that you have to take out of your life. That's why I don't get it done as often as I should. 
So I was, I'm going to go get it done again, but I was super upset. So I'm going to get it done from this company. It's like a chain here in Tucson. But then after that, I'm going to switch places because I just can't take the chance that they're going to mess up and I'm going to have to like go back again. That's another like three to four hours out of my life that I will never get back. So on that rant, I had my hair done um, and it was not at all even close to what I wanted. So I'm going to get it done again on Thursday. Anyways, I used to get a, um, when I got my pedicures, I used to get each, um, of my big toes, uh, fake so they could have really pretty designs and stuff, but I found these. I don't know how they're going to work. I think they are super cute. So I got these ones to try on my toes after I do my beautiful little foot mask. And then I picked this up for me and it's just the shimmery eyeshadows with applicator by La Mercieri. I don't know. But it's just four nude smoky. Um, I am trying to minimize what I take on my trip. Someone said that you should not check luggage if you have to change planes inside of Mexico, which I have to change in Mexico City. They said you should not take luggage that has to switch planes because there's a chance it won't show up. So I'm going to do my best to pack just my carry-on with stuff. So I'm kind of minimize, minimizing everything. So there's that. Um... And then I saw this and I was like, oh, I could learn how to use this. It's Hard Candy Sheer Envy Color Correcting Perfecting Powder Matte Finish Neutralizes and Balances Complexions. So I was in the store reading the backs of all these because I was like, I do not want my face these colors. And I was like, why would anyone want their face? But I guess you just swirl brush all over shades and apply all over face. So I should have tried it this weekend because I'm not going to try it tomorrow before work. I feel like that would be a nightmare leak having to rewash my whole face when I turn purple and yellow and blue. I don't know. I've never tried the colored stuff for your face, so I don't know, but I got it. And then I did just pick up another of the wall shelf. I do plan on doing my um, swings. So again, I am going, it's going to look like this at the top. I'm going to make a St. Patrick's Day one. So I'm going to paint the board itself a green and like sprinkle some glitter, gold glitter on it. And then up here at the top where it connects, um, I got one of the Dollar Tree rainbows that was on the tassel. So I'm going to put that up here. And then I think I haven't decided if I'm going to put beads up and down the sides for the swing, or if I'm going to glue coins on there, but I have the, the gnome that sits and his legs are going to hang over the edge. And then I'm going to put, um, a pot, the pot of gold next to him on here. And I'm just going to hang him from my wall and he's going to be on his little swing. So that is my plan with this one. So there we go. Let me see here. Let me get my next bag. So I had not seen this there and I love avocado. So it's a three in one avo tool. Um, I'm not sure what is the, that part for, Oh, this part is to cut it. I guess it will cut the side of the avocado then this part takes out the um the seed and then this will cut it for me that's the worst part so it is by it's just this split pit and slice avocados it's by every holder in anaheim california so i just got that because i thought it was a good deal and i like avocados this I'm super excited about, and I'm actually going to give it to my husband right now so we can see if it works. It's the Fur Shark Pet Hair Remover, and ugh, I love my boxer to death, but the boxer, she sheds like no other. It is crazy. Like, if she shakes, you just see hair go everywhere, and um, it says works better than vacuums or lint brushes to remove embedded fur and hair, um, and it's great for auto carpets, upholstery furniture, pet beds, cat towers, and fabrics. So we, we must have every tool around to try and brush our dogs to get the hair out and to get the hair off of our furniture and nothing seems to work. Um, so I'm going to see if my husband will use this and hopefully it will work on our couches. Go and try it. I'll try it. And then I saw this at my store and I was like, this must be old. Like, cause it was just one random. And I was like, but I really like it. So I'm just going to get it. And then I've seen people haul it. I was like, okay, I guess it's supposed to be there, but I hadn't seen anyone haul it or anything. And it's the spiced apple luxury hand soap and it soothes and softens. And it's in the little Mason jar, which I love. So once the soap is gone, I'll keep it. And it's 13 fluid ounces. Hmm. Let's see. Mm, it's a very soft. Oh, that smells good. I don't, I wouldn't, what does it say? Spice apple. Okay. 
because I was going to say it definitely smells like cinnamon or something. So, oh, that smells good though. Really good. So I picked this up again. There was only one. It was, I thought it was in the wrong section and I was even nervous. I was like, I wonder if this is supposed to be in the plus section for like $3 or something, but there was no price on it. So I took it up front and it was the 125. So I was excited. I picked this up just for one. I only picked up one for my kids to try. It's the super coffee positive energy and it's blueberry muffin. I'm not drinking anything else blueberry muffin and I don't drink coffee, but it's 80 calories and they drink coffee and it's plant-based, zero added sugars, 10 grams of plant protein, 200 milligrams of caffeine. Um, so I got that and it is 12 fluid ounces. Mind you, my son is 17, but yesterday when I was bartending at the racetracks, this lady walked up and asked what her kid wanted to drink. Y'all, he could not have been any more than seven. And he was like, a Red Bull. And she's like, he'll take a Red Bull. I was like, like everything in me, it took everything in me to hand this seven-year-old a Red Bull. I was like, okay, let me get that for you. Like, oh, it was hard. It was hard. So anyways, I got that for my boys to try. Yeah, I was like, okay, let me get that for you. Um, let's see what's in this one. I want to save the one in my lap until I find the stuff that goes with it. So I'm going to decorate our main bathroom for Easter. And if you guys watched, not this last Christmas, but the Christmas prior, I made, I'm sorry, I was trying to find my drink. I did my bathroom in the red truck for Christmas. I'm sorry. Um, with almost all Dollar Tree stuff. Actually, I think it was all Dollar Tree. And it looked amazing. I made the shower curtain and everything. So that's what I'm gonna do with their, um, their I keep saying, um, I'm sorry their bathroom for Easter. So I did just pick up the clear one for them. And I think I'm just going to color just some of the stripes on here to make it different colors. And then here is the toothbrush holder. So I'm just again going to color some of these slots in between. And then I picked this up. Super cute. I want the little 3D pom pom. I love that he's on a little bicycle. I think that's so cute. I'm not going to use this part, so imagine it like this. And then I don't have one here, but like I'm going to, I have so many of their little boxes they have, just like the little trinket dish or whatever you want to call it. It has like the stars cut out on the edges and stuff. And I'm going to stick this behind it and then put the box in the front. And I might put this on the front of the box, but this is just going to be on the back. And then the box in front of it is going to have like their lotions and all that stuff that they use all the time. But this is just going to be like the decoration that I put on the wooden box. So I did pick that up. I just love this little rabbit. Excuse me. And then I picked these up, the little speckled eggs to take apart so that I can lay them in my grass um in the basket and around it and on the counters and stuff and maybe i'm not even sure i was thinking i might use this the green it's the what is it the mesh ribbon so i was thinking like to go around like the top of the mirror or something to use this almost as a garland like you would have to uh like double it or something but like just kind of tack this along the top of their mirror and just like have kind of eggs hiding in the grass in it and it would just like i said just go across, across the top of their mirror for easter and then maybe hang the sign that says happy easter or something but i just think that would be cute to have the eggs hiding in the grass and then i also got uh let's see some carrots six pieces of the carrots to dangle from here or whatever from our little faux grass that we're gonna have so again i might have to get a second one of these just to make enough but i mean even if you just wanted to hang it up and like put like swirl it or something in some spots it's gonna look so cute on the top of the mirror and like i said i'm just gonna put some eggs in here somewhere and it's just gonna look like eggs and carrots hiding in grass i think so that is my plan with that I'm actually going to stop this here and try to gather up all of the paint pouring stuff because I'm so excited about that. I've not seen that at all before. So I'm going to stop this right here, upload this one, and I am going to look for the paint pouring stuff. So I will start out my next video with the paint pouring stuff. So I'll be right back, guys.